Okay, so we're looking at the, the top. This is the fret 28 in this big, gigantic, long fretboard I made. And just remember, it's a virtual fretboard. We have to spread the fretboard out. Now, a lot of people will go ahead and make a super thick fretboard that's 20 or 30, 10 or 20 strings long. That's important, too. Similar to this older diagram here that I have where it's uh, one, two, three, four, five, ten. This is ten strings long. And the reason why I made this was to do a double seven L stack. Okay. Um, it's a pattern stack, but it's, you know, it's, it's used it for a specific purpose to, to demonstrate patterns as they, as they occur vertically and kind of march across the fretboard. And then what we'll do is we'll just cut a fretboard out of here. Okay, well, let's just cut a fretboard out of here. If I did that, what would that be? That would be root and root there, unwarped, right? It would be unwarped. And then what we would do is take this uh, part of the fretboard here and we'd warp it over, okay, to about there. Now we have now we have a, a a guitar fretboard and we can just crop that out just like that. Okay? So in in this particular diagram we could just crop that out. Oh, that didn't work. <laughs> uh there we go. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um I don't do that often. So <coughs> I've cropped this out and it's enlarged. So that's that's what we'd be looking at once we we went from that original ten string diagram down to here. And it could you know then you could see well what, what were these colors? What were these colors? You know um, why are they strange shape? Where were they and what they what are they doing? Okay, here's the original diagram. Now we can see what they were doing. We had a seven here and another seven here. We had an L here. And we had another L here. We just had sevens going up and L's going down. You know, that kind of thing. So, um, similarly, similarly, we want to expand the keyboard, or the, the, the fretboard, <coughs> make it longer. So now we can see <coughs> what's going on with the magic circle. Okay? So these are the magic circle tripentatonic members. All right, so all the way across the board, we start with the C shape, and then adjacent to the C shape is the G shape. Now notice this isn't spelling caged anymore. Okay, so here's C is gonna go to the G shape. The leading, uh, the leading is the root. This is the fourth, and this is the fifth of that root. So the C goes to the G shape, the G goes to the D shape, the D, what do you think, goes to the A shape, it's going in fourths. Okay, the A goes to the E shape in fourths. Okay, now we're going to lose our little cage diagram, but we have the magic circle coming into view. The A goes to the E shape as we're going clockwise, magic circle clockwise going up here. Okay, so A goes to E shape, magic circle goes clockwise. Guess what? I got this backwards. <laughs> uh, we're going counterclockwise on the magic circle. So I'll have to switch these. All right, I fixed that <laughs> in a hurry. It was a little quick uh, on the fly patch. Um, so we've got, we've got, we're going counterclockwise. On the magic circle, uh, we would be going from E to C. Okay, so that's a little hard to see because of the, but we can see it up here. So we've got going from E to C is counterclockwise, right? E to C is counterclockwise. No, now it's, <clears throat> yeah, E to C is counterclockwise. I was, I thought I fixed it wrong again. All right, so let's look at one over here where we were in the fourth, all fourth. G goes to D 
counterclockwise all right so G would be here D would be here in this direction all right so that's right so <clears throat> back to what I was talking about so I've made the keyboard 28 frets some people might have a guitar that's that long you know I'm sure they do um, and it's long enough to demonstrate the entire magic circle and plus one remember I said it was plus one so we've gone around we've gone uh, in the beginning over on, on on this side up here we start here let's just look at it the whole thing we start at C here and we go to G okay here and we go to D here we go to A here and remember these are adjacent boxes they're not overlapping like caged overlaps and I want to show you something when we get up here if I keep it in my head this uh, star here <clears throat> which is really cool we go A goes to E alright coming up here now we're gonna go E goes to C ding dong what's wrong is something wrong something wrong ding dong by the way go with the flow <laughs> go with ding dong I found it works a lot better to get help from other people um, so what happened we have our magic circle here we'll get to the that um, we're missing a fret there they're not they're no longer it's no longer adjacent they're just neighbors you know they have like it like a, a DMZ in between or something you know there's a river in between or something all right <clears throat> so right there uh, that's what's going on there because there's only a third between E and C so let's look at C and then to to G, to G would be down a fourth down a fourth to G being the fourth of D and uh, D being the fourth of A and uh, E being the fourth of uh, e, A being the fourth of E okay but now C being this this uh, E being the third of C so because there's a third in the magic circle and also in the magic fret there's a there's a tuning differential here where we go a to D is a fourth to G is a fourth to C is a fourth but then there's a third between C and E there that in your guitar where you got that funny sounding third so if I put the fret on the magic fret I put the capo on the magic fret we have come on come on capo that's C and E back to a on the magic fret so that's <clears throat> the magic frets good for that but guess what there's another magic fret matter of fact there's a magic fret for every key so back to this right here we've got they're no longer adjacent between this the E box and the C box there's a river going through there okay kind of between the two properties of, of E and G and C something like that or a highway or whatever you want to call it and it turns out that these notes are E flat A flat D flat G flat B flat and E flat it's the missing fret for the key of C and if you look this is also the magic fret uh, this is the magic fret for the key of G flat okay I I had to uh, put the label over here so this this is the this is the magic fret for the key of G flat all right now let's look at that again uh, let's zoom out we need uh, we need to zoom out I'm sorry for people who need it zoomed in here's the magic fret for the key of, of of G flat here okay and notice how this particular missing fret for the key of 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 C is in between the E and the C